Hi, welcome to this second look at me Christmas 2023 weather prospects. At the time of filming, there is still almost a month to go until the big day itself. Therefore, things remain extremely speculative to say the very least. But I will take a look at some of the analogues and computer model data. Firstly though, a quick reminder of the definition. It is that a single flake of snow must be observed falling within the 24 hours of December the 25th. A single flake, that's all it takes. So if you wake up to a picture like this, blue sky showing dry conditions, lots of snow piled up on the ground, it probably would not be a white Christmas because the snow had fallen in the days before. You may not be able to open your front door because of those drifts, but it does not count. Conversely, lots of water on the roads here, precipitation falling, and if you look very, very, very closely, you'll just see the odd flake of snow mixed in. But that's great news because it qualifies. It means that you've got your white Christmas. Okay, enough of that. Onwards. And I'm going to take a look at the top five analogues. These are generated by comparing pressure patterns across the Northern Hemisphere during the last 30 days with those in the same period in each year going back to 1948. So off we go. And in fifth position, it is 2013. Low pressure centre just to the north, an Atlantic flow across the UK, green for most of us, maybe a bit of wintriness over the Scottish mountains. In number four position, it is 1951. Wind's coming in from the west again, but the blue shade in there indicates somewhat colder upper level air, nonetheless mostly green, I expect. Number three, a very interesting one. I think if I recall correctly, this was last week's number one, 2009. 2009, 10 was the coldest winter in the UK since 1978-79. There was quite a lot of snow in the middle part of December, even in the south, but the middle part of December is a giveaway. It fell before Christmas, and although I think there was quite a lot still on the ground, even here in the Chilterns on December 25th, it did not qualify as a white Christmas. Number two, a big, big contrast, 1989. The 10th mildest winter on record going back to 1659. It really was notably mild. For much of a period, high pressure was building up from the south into continental Europe and we had a southwesterly flow. Christmas Day itself though, doesn't look too far from the average green though, nonetheless. So what is in position number one? It is 1991. The pattern here is a little bit different to some of the others. High pressure having more influence, building up from the south, an Atlantic flow there across the north, but all in all, a green Christmas it was. So the analogues really don't look particularly favourable, to say the least. How about the computer model data? I'm going to start with the GEFS 35 day plots. This one shows temperatures at about 1500 metres above sea level over London, and we've got to go right across to the Right-hand side of the chart there to find Christmas Day, Boxing Day label, December 26, but the message is very simple. The ensemble mean, the thick purple line, is above the thick black line through the Christmas period. It's pointing towards above average air temperatures at this level. Does that correlate down at the ground level? Well, unfortunately it does. The red lines here, the maximum minimums forecast, uh, on, on each day through the Christmas period are uh, staying above a thick black line, the 30 year average. So quite a mild Christmas if this is correct in the south. Up to Glasgow to see the view further north. Not a great deal of difference. The positive anomaly there on this plot is weaker. In fact, it's, the, the ensemble mean dips a little bit below the 30 year average just at the end there. But all in all, there isn't a signal for cold conditions. But just checking the Ground level ones, or at least the two meter temperature level ones. The red lines there showing the forecast maximum and minimums are close to or above the thick black line. I think these are indicating the chance for white Christmas is very low, apart from perhaps the Scottish mountains. The anomaly charts for the week beginning 
uh, Sunday the 24th December, so Christmas Eve, taking the seven days from the 24th forwards. 850 HPA temperature anomalies here. The pinks and reds indicate above a 30 year average for blues there, a little bit over Scandinavia below it. So not encouraging either if it's snow, which you're hoping for in the UK. Pressure anomalies for the same period. The yellows over the UK are indicating a positive pressure anomaly. So just some suggestions maybe of high pressure having more influence. A slight hue of blue over Scandinavia suggesting a little bit below average pressure there. But all in all, it doesn't look conducive to uh, cold conditions in the UK, perhaps more so to wet and windy ones. That's the GEFS. What about the European model? Two meter temperature anomalies being shown here for the week beginning the 25th, for week be beginning Christmas Day. The dark pinks there over the south indicating quite a strong positive anomaly and the lighter pinks further north are also pointing towards above average temperatures taken over that period as a whole. Of course, there could be colder days in the mix and milder ones and all in all, the milder ones doing more to offset the cold ones, but there is not a signal here for cold conditions through the Christmas period, quite the reverse. The pressure anomalies from the European model, slightly below over much of the UK, slightly above to the south and the east. That does not look cold to me. It could though be wet and windy, just like the GEFS was suggesting a, as a possibility. So the computer model data isn't great either. I'll try and summarize anyway, because it is still far too early to make a forecast, but speculatively, the analogs are not favorable. The computer models are suggesting close to or above average temperatures, fairly average pressure patterns, maybe wet and windy is on the cards. Taking the two together, things do not look promising. But I've got to issue a white Christmas score. And as a reminder, last week it was two out of five. One is the lowest, five the highest, so the greatest chance of snow falling on Christmas Day. Have I gone up or down this week? Here goes. Down, it's gone down to one. It can't go any lower, so I guess on a positive note, the only way now is up. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, it is just a bit of fun at this range, but if you did, then please consider hitting the like button, also subscribing to the channel if you've not done so already. And I'll let you into a little secret. I'm hoping by the time I record my next video for Christmas, I'll be wearing a brand new for 2023 jumper. Thanks very much now. Bye.